Are you ready to visit a few fossil sites in California with us? Let's move right on. I like protected places because you can revisit them many times and the fossils are still there. Although, in the case of this beach, you can usually find many new fossils because the ocean constantly mixes up the gravel, rotating and smoothing the rocks to reveal fossils you would not notice during previous trips. Everything you find should remain on the beach. With that said, let's take a look at this large rock containing a series of vertebrae, likely small whale bones. When a whale dies and sinks to the bottom of the ocean, it attracts the various animals that feast on the carcass. It seems like these elongated structures are the burrowings of worms. We found plenty of other fossils, of course. This one is interesting. It seems like a large clam that was covered with barnacles. The shell eroded completely, leaving only the imprint, but the white, round outlines of the barnacles still remain. This rock was fossilized, likely mammalian teeth in the hard matrix. Cool. Here is another fascinating find. Could it be a set of bones from a whale fin? Few phalanges similar to those we have in our hands. The next place to check is a creek that runs along the petrified forest road near Calistoga. There are a few videos on YouTube describing this place. So we went there, but did not find much. The place was definitely cleaned thoroughly, at least in the areas we searched. The petrified wood is mostly white here and should be easy to spot. We found only a single piece resembling petrified wood, and that's it. When you spend half a day in the creek, slip on wet clay a couple times, get your feet wet and come home with a piece like this, you understand that people who cut and polish petrified wood into smooth and shiny pieces and make them available for purchase do a big favor to the public, bringing the beauty of these fossils for us to enjoy. Moving on to the huge bluffs of Muscle Rock Beach near Daly City of San Francisco, the marine deposits of the late Pliocene to the early Pleistocene age are massive here and, if you look carefully, you can find plenty of fossils. It's mostly large clams, occasional clusters of sand dollars or sea urchins. The preservation is terrible, the shells are quite fragile, but they are there and you can enjoy finding them anytime you wish because not many people really want to take them home. Just be careful, the cliffs are unstable and erosion is constant. The bluffs located right on the San Andreas Fault. Visitors can easily notice remnants of huge landslides caused by tectonic movements. The bluffs consist of sandstones, siltstones, and claystones belonging to the Merced Formation. The thickness of the formation is an astonishing one mile thanks to constant accumulation of the sediment for two to three million years. If you know where to look, you can spot a few ash beds that bear the ash of an ancient volcano, Mount Tejana, located in nowadays Lassen Volcanic National Park. Another cool feature of this place is that just around Muscle Rock, it is possible to see how the boundaries between the ocean waters and the bay waters collide. This is where a bit more muddy but less salty water from the bay mixes with clear ocean water. You have to be near the parking lot to see it from above. The weather, tides, and seasons are likely to affect your chances to observe such a phenomenon as the outflow of fresh water from San Francisco Bay. Finally, here are a few new finds from our favorite locality in Carmel Valley near Monterey. In addition to the usual crab imprints, we found a few fragments of fish that day. Somebody did a bit of digging here, and let me tell you that we are strongly against any digs. Too much effort with little result. We find it more responsible and productive to carefully browse through the naturally eroded rocks. 
to spot the irregularities on their surface. Little rusty spots where iron oxide accumulated in the spaces formed around the dead organisms, adding a brown color to the imprints. Well, that's it for today. Hit the like button if you learned something new and see you next time. Cheers!